Come on in. Hey, creative. Hey, what's up, Colt? You got anything for me? Yeah, you know what I've been thinking about it? We gotta get you in the mainstream media. No, Marty, I told you, I wanna be a pure professional wrestler. That's all I wanna do. Hear me out, all right? Miz was on The Real World. Jericho was just on Dancing with the Stars. I've been on the internet for like five seconds. I found Arn Anderson on this amazing website called BearTube. BearTube? Yeah, it's great. You know BearTube's a website for hairy gay men, right? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Are you telling me this is a gay porn site? Oh! Oh! Why was this in my locker? Okay, the network wants to go in a little bit of a different direction with your character. What's wrong with Colt Cabana? Alright, uh, they just kind of felt like it was a little... Uh, you know, this... Am I ugly or something? No, no, no. They just kind of felt you came off too Jewish. Jewish? Yeah. They never said that to Goldberg. Why would they say that to the fat kid from the Mighty Ducks? This is a lawsuit. I'm gonna get my lawyers involved. Typical. Typical what? Uh, typical what? Say it. Typical. Typical what? Typical wrestler. Look at me, I'm a Jewish wrestler. Urgh. I don't know, man. Another weird day in creative. Yeah, guess what I'm supposed to do today? Have a meeting with a deaf wrestler. I know, right? I don't know sign language. I'll probably write everything down. I don't know. Oh, here he comes. No, I'll just make him wait. Yeah. He can wait all day, I don't care. Yeah, I'm talking right now. He can't hear me. Not even a big deal. He looks like all the rest of the idiots. Big dumb boots and spandex underwear. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's not like huge, but it's not small. Yeah. He's got a towel on. He should put it over his face. Ugh, this job is so gross. All right, man. <laughs> I'll probably bury him like usual. Yeah, I bet I just got to quit in a year. All right, I'll call you back. Hello! You know I could hear everything you just said. You're not the deaf wrestler? No, I'm, I'm Colt. We meet every week, Marty. Oh, Colt, hey, that, that wasn't about you. Or your penis. Hey, creative. Hey, what's up, Colt? Uh, the storylines you've been writing for me lately? Pretty good, huh? No, they're god-awful. Why do you have me on the lower card? Marty, I need to be a giant wrestling superstar. I need to be bigger than big. I need, I need to be like Hulk Hogan. I don't know who that is. You're the creative writer? Yeah, but who's Hulk Hogan? The 80s pop culture icon. Doogie Howser? No, 6'4", Golden Brown, say your prayers, eat your vitamins. Richard Simmons. Marty, Hulkamania, what you gonna do? 24 inch pythons, body slammed Andre the Giant, WrestleMania, one, two, three, four, what you gonna do? Hulk Hogan. Oh, the Renaissance Center guy. Oh. Come in. Hey, creative. Hey, what's up, Colt? You got anything for me? Nope. No? No, I'm sorry. Maybe next week. How about now? No. How about now? No. Come on. Now? No. no. Write something for me. Come on. How about now? No. How about now? Nope. What about now? No. Right now? Still no. How about now? Even less. Marty, you got anything for me? No. How about now? No. What about now? I got it. Yeah? Not for you, for me. I just won my eBay auction. I am the proud owner of an original Nintendo Entertainment System. You're unbelievable. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. You should come over later. We'll play Super Mario Brothers. Come on in. You wanna see me? Hey, what's up, Colt? I gotta talk to you, man. I got word from upstairs. I gotta change the name of your finisher. What's wrong with the Chicago Crabs? It's too regional. We gotta go nationwide here. I've got a couple. I'm gonna run them by you. Here we go. Number one, Angry Dolphin, Frothy Walrus, the Houdini, the Cement Mixer, the Dump Truck. Marty. Yeah. Are these just sexual positions? No, not at all. Uh, the Rusty Trombone, uh, the Clean Sanchez. It's like the Dirty Sanchez, but much more polite. Where are you going? We gotta talk about this. 
Come in. Hey, creative. Hey, you. There he is. The man. My buddy. It's about to get awesome in here. Uh, you have no clue what my name is, do you? Of course. It's, uh, it's, um... Colt. Yeah, Colt. We meet every week. Right. Colt, um... Colt... Uh... Colt... C Cabana? Colt Cabana, of course. Oh my god, Colt, I got some stuff for you, man. I hope you like doing vignettes. You are about to get over, my friend. Uh, it's somewhere on here. Um, Marty. Yeah, I can't find it. Marty. Yeah. You have no clue who I am, do you? I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I'll see you next week. Bye, Kirk. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. Hey, what's up, Colt? You got anything for me? I actually do. Get out of here. Yeah, check this out. You're going to get a new gimmick, right? Right on. You're going to be a truck driver who's also an arm wrestler trying to win back the love of your son. You're going to wear like a hat, and when it's time to get down to business, you're going to take that hat turn it around. Marty, that's... That's over the top. No, not really at all. Think about it. You're going to also join like the biggest arm wrestling tournament in the world, right? And you're going to win the tournament. Not only that, you win the love of your son, but you also win this big truck. truck. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. on board. That's over the top. All right. That's over the top. All right, Marty. if that's too much for you, let's do this. Let's switch it up a little bit. Instead of a son, you're going to have a daughter. The two of you fight crime. Late at night when everyone's sleeping, you put your costumes on. You'll take down like an underworld drug syndicate. It'll be like real comic hey, booky. It's gonna be awesome. Hey, that's kick ass. Hey man, thanks. That is kick ass. Yeah, come in. Hey creative, you gonna write something for me? I got a question for you first. Sure. Are you on steroids? No. Tell me the truth right now. Are you on steroids? Definitely not on steroids. You could pass a drug test today. Right now, let's do it. 100%. All right. Look, I need you to do me a favor. All right, you wrestlers have fucked things up for everybody. We're getting drug tested in the office, and I cannot pass a drug test. That's why you're gonna take one for me. Yeah, I need them to think what's coming out of there is coming out of here, all right? I mean, could be arranged. Maybe you wrote a little storyline. Absolutely, you'll get a great angle out of it. Just yeah. the cups in the bathroom, please, do this for me. Right. I'll owe you big. No problem. All right. Here you go, Marty. What the fuck is that? One clean cup of pure professional wrestling urine. Why is it green? Yeah, I'm gonna take some supplements from Tijuana, but they said it's all in the up and up, bud. Here you go. Now, uh, get the right. Yeah, right? yeah, I got it. Thanks. Oh, God. Come on in. Hey, Colt. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? No, I don't got anything for you, okay? It's not that easy. It doesn't just come out of thin air, right? I'm, I'm trying my best, but it's just not coming to me. It's just hard work. It's not that hard. Right? Oh, it's not that hard? Why don't you pitch me an angle if it's not that hard? Uh, red jacket. Frank comes down. He grabs my red jacket. He cuts up with the scissors. I take the scissors. I cut his hair. Next thing you know, we have a hair versus jacket right. match. Hair versus jacket. This is good stuff, man. You got the gift. You should do this. This is your job. Are you using this? Yeah. All right, all right. You have this big thing, uh, uh, the big jacket versus hair. All right, then what? I don't know. We, we respect each other. Maybe we become a tag team. This is good. This is really good stuff, Colt. Uh, what's a tag team? Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? No, I don't. I I tell you what, man, I've been thinking about all this, and if I want to be any good at this, if I really want to be the best at it, I got to know what it's like for you guys in the ring, all right? I got to, I got to feel your pain. Okay. Ready? Yep, I bet none of the other writers are cool enough to do this. Let's go. Thankfully. <laughs> One. <laughs> oh. Uh. Here you go, Marty. Here you oh. go. Drink this. What is this? Don't worry. All the wrestlers drink that after a hard-fought match. Look at me. I'm like one of the boys. You sure are. Ugh. 
Come on in. Hey, creative. What's up, Colt? You got anything for me? I actually do. Good. Let's hear it. How would you like to sell more merchandise? I would love to sell more merchandise. All right, check this out. You know how Rey Mysterio comes out and he goes up to the little kids and goes right at them and says something really inspirational uh, yeah, to totally them? Yeah, totally cute. I yeah, love yeah. it. Yeah. I want you to do the same thing, but we're going to switch it up a little bit. You're going to go up to him and you're going to go, if you don't buy my shirt, I'm going to kill your parents. It's the worst idea I've ever heard. I think it really work. If you think it's good, why don't you do it? I can't. I'm not allowed around kids. That's the law. Hey, creative. What's up, Colt? Got anything for me? You know what? I've been thinking about something here. Wrestling, it's all about cool initials, right? You JYD, HBK, NWO. Nope, nope. I'm Colt Cabana, I'm not doing double C, man. No, no, no. Know. We've already had double A with Arn Anderson. I wouldn't even think about that. I got a whole new direction for you. All right. Ready for this? Yeah, yeah. The human pulverizing vehicle. Marty, that's HPV. Yeah. <laughs> it's a venereal disease. Venereal what? It's an STD. Ooh. No. No! Hear I'm, me out. I'm leaving. Hear me I'm out. I'm leaving! STD, Stefan Tank Davis. Think about it. Uh-oh, making his way to the ring area, STD. Fuck you. Come on in. Hey, Marty. Hey, is this good baby oil? Why do you have baby oil and spray tan? Are those are those for me? No, they're for me. I'm uh, trying to bang me a diva. What does baby oil and spray tan have to do with banging a diva? Well, it seems to work for all you guys. It's not just that stuff, Marty. We're on national television. We're TV stars. Ah, so you're saying I should put myself on TV? Yeah, let me be your manager. Please. Why, why don't you just write them a storyline? I'm sure they'll fall in love with you. Write them a storyline where they have to have sex with me? That's sexual harassment. Hand jobs? Foot jobs. Armpit jobs? Come on in. Hey, creative, you got anything for me? Yeah, I got a couple quick questions. Uh, right. First of all, what are you looking for in a partner? Nice, good. Uh, yeah. Uh, put me with like a veteran, somebody who's been uh -huh. around, you know, knows the ropes. Just travel the world, could teach me a couple things. All right. And how would you describe your body type? I don't know, athletic. Okay. And uh, what are some of your hobbies, activities? Pro wrestling? Besides pro wrestling. I don't know, I like to go to the movies and bike ride, lift weights, I guess. Perfect. I got your match. Oh yeah? Who'd you get me? Frank? Uh, no. Her name is Rebecca. She's a 34-year-old, single mother. You put, Marty, you put me on Match.com? Yeah. I thought I was getting a tag team partner. I did you one better. I got you a family. <laughs> Why would you do that? Because that's what best friends do. <sighs> Just write something for me. All right, give me your number. Oh, hey. Hey, Mr. 45 Minutes Late. I, I had a, another meeting, sorry. Yeah, I, I can see. I think you're changing careers on me, are you? No, not at all, not at all. You're not? Nope. That's not a script. That's uh, a new angle. That's not for a movie? Not at all, that's for wrestling. You sure? Yeah, absolutely. So you're telling me a uh, guy goes to outer space and changes places with an alien? You're going to do that. That's going to be me. That's your angle. That's professional wrestling. Absolutely. What about uh, over here, this guy is uh, fighting a gang of teenage werewolves. That's going to be a stable that comes into a uh, feud with you. That's a stable. Yeah. That's pro wrestling. Absolutely. Not a movie? All right, look, I can't expect you to understand all this, okay? You know, you're a wrestler, I'm a writer, okay? I'm the brains, you're the brawn. You just do what I say in the ring and it'll work out just fine, okay? I'm talking about art here and all you know is muscles and weights, okay? You couldn't possibly understand what it's like to have my job. I'm God, I decide what happens, I am the puppet master. You are the guy who goes in the ring and does what I tell you to do, all right? So shut my computer off and get out of my chair. Don't talk to me like that. Sorry. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? No, but uh, you know what I watched last night? I don't know what you nerds watch. Glee, maybe? No, that's Thursday. I watched our show last night. <laughs> yeah, it was actually really good. 
People are really into it. You think? Yeah, but you gotta explain this to me. Why is Eric running around the ring ruining the fighting? Eric? Yeah, yeah, with the mustache. Eric with the mustache? The bald. Bald Eric with the mustache. Yeah, and he's like always wearing the striped shirt. The, the ref? Yeah, Eric's ruining all the fighting, like running around slapping the ground all the time. I gotta write something better for that guy. Who cares? He's the ref! What about my title run you were gonna give me? What if I made Eric the champ? It's impossible. He's the ref. Exactly. Nobody will see it coming. I hate you. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative, you got anything for me? I, uh, I actually do. Yeah? I got you a present. Is it a storyline? No. I got you a present. It's an actual present. An action figure. Yeah, you're always talking about how you want your own action figure. Got you one. An action figure of me, Marty. Not a G.I. Joe. Wait, why would we make an action figure of you? You lose every match. You make me lose, Marty. You make me lose every match constantly. Do I or do you? Oh, it's you. You make me lose. But is it kind of you? No, you. You are the one that makes me lose. At the end of the day, can you honestly say I make you lose every match? A hundred percent, yes. You make me lose. Thank you for that, by the way. Thank you for this. This looks wonderful. Look, if you don't want that, I'll take it. Yeah, here. Yes. I mean, yeah, I'll take it. Awesome. Thanks, Colt. You're the best. Fuck off. Come in. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? <sighs> nah, I'm just watching your match from last night. Boring. Boring? Did you hear the people? They were going crazy. I don't care what the people say. Look, it's just you and this other guy rolling around on the ground with each other. Yeah, it's called wrestling. I don't care what it's called. If I want to see two guys in their underwear grabbing each other, I'll go to my Uncle Fred's house. You clearly don't know what you're doing. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to write your next match for you, okay? First, you're going to do a flip in the ring. No, nope, you're going to do two flips in the ring. Then... You're gonna do a spin kick. Then you're gonna do a karate kick. Then when you have your opponent right where you want him, you're gonna throw a fireball in his face. A fireball? Marty, why do all your ideas come from Street Fighter? Just do it. Like this? <sighs> Pathetic. <laughs> Are you can Cole, come on, put some feeling into it, damn it, here we go. Aruken! What? Come on in. Hey, creative, you got anything for me? I actually do. I got our company's latest DVD release. Feast your eyes on that. Best of creative. They made a best of creative DVD. Yeah, it's kind of like the behind the scenes look at the guys behind the scenes. This is incredible. Yeah, it is. It's like my greatest hits of all time. It's like my, it's like my Pink Floyd's The Wall. Let me, let me take a look. I got it. Oh, here's me losing. Oh, here I lose. Losing, 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 losing. Here, Marty, here's the one where you had me losing to a midget. Right, but in our defense, we made you look very strong in that loss. Thanks. Thanks. Now, normally those are 20 bucks a pop, but uh, I'm going to give you that one on the house. And uh, I can even autograph it for you. Could you make this one to fuck off? Oh! <laughs> yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? Yeah, Colt. Uh, take a look at these. I want you to pick out one of those tattoos. Hey, you getting a new tattoo? No, uh, you are. For what? Office wants you to get a new tattoo. A permanent one? Yeah. Don't worry. We're going to pay for everything. Just check them all out there. We've got like a barbed wire, a tribal tattoo. The one I like has uh, Colt on one hand and cock on the other. I'm going to get cock tattooed on my hand? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, Marty. I... I feel like I'm just going to regret this in two years when you fire me anyway. You know, Colt, there isn't a day that goes by where I don't wake up in the morning, look at that dolphin tattoo on my lower back, and think, Marty, you are the fucking man.
You have a dolphin tattooed on your lower back? Of course. Dolphin swimming out of your butt crack. That's great detail. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? No, nah, man. You have nothing for me? No, I'm sorry. Wait, do we have some kind of beef or something? It's like, I come in here and you never have anything for me. Look, close the door. I don't want to say anything, but I think the boss wants us to fight. The boss wants us to fight. I, it's the stupidest thing. Hear me out. Right. For like the last year, he's been telling me to push you. He's been saying that for a year? Yeah, and I'm like, I don't have any problems with this guy. We get along just fine. Like, I'm not going to put my hands on him. Plus, he's bigger than me. Damn it, Marty! It gets even worse. Well, how? Like at the last pay-per-view, they wanted me to put a strap on you in a three-way. And I was like, I've done some weird stuff in my day, but that takes the cake. Yeah, I would have loved for you guys to put that strap on me in that three-way. My parents were there. Ew. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? I do. You do for real? Absolutely. I know I say I do and it never pans out, but this time it's going to be different. I mean, how many times do I come in here and you shovel crap into my lap? Pretty much every week. Yeah, so why should I trust you on this This one? time I have a great angle for you, okay? All right. Let's hear it. You are going to feud with Mark the Shark. With Mark the Shark? Absolutely. Good. I like Mark. He's really talented. Here's how it's going to start. Mark's backstage giving an interview, right? You are going to attack him from behind. You want me to jump the shark? Absolutely. Jump the shark? Yeah, it's going to be my greatest angle of all time. People are going to sit back and go, I remember when Marty DeRosa had Colt Cabana jump the shark. <laughs> Take a lot of pride in your writing, don't you, Marty? Yep. Yeah. I know. Apparently he said he never did drugs, all that stuff. It was all a lie. Yeah. A gigantic bag. Doesn't he know we have a wellness policy here? Hold on a second. Yeah, come on in. It's him. I'll call you back. What do you know about this? Oh, sweet. I've been looking for that. So it is yours. Yeah, of course it's mine. I need it for my match tonight. Cole, you don't need this stuff. You're way too talented. I do need it. I have to throw it in Mr. X's face tonight. The whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. Isn't that expensive? Expensive? I don't know. I buy it in bulk. After the match, you're probably gonna throw some on my balls. Whoa, you wrestlers sure know how to party. I guess. Has for you. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. Hey, Colt, let me ask you a question. How do you feel about this term? Best of luck in your future endeavors. Holy shit, are you firing me? No. Oh, hold on a second. No. Look, now that I got this new office, I've got some new responsibilities, okay? The boss doesn't like that term. He feels like it's kind of cold and insensitive. Well, you are crushing people's dreams. Uh, yeah, it's someone's dream to be a pro wrestler. Anyway, I wrote some new ones. I'm going to run them by. Let me know what you think. Yeah, fine. Sure. Okay? Hey, take two years off. You deserve it. Number two, health insurance, smelt insurance. Uh, Number three, who wants to be a bouncer? These are horrible and insensitive. Have you ever even been fired before? Oh, yeah. Really? For what? I kept trying to have Rachel have sex with Ross. Yeah, I didn't know you wrote for friends. I didn't. I worked at Domino's. Hmm. Take a 90-day paid vacation. On us. Yeah. Okay. Time to catch up on your Maury Povich. Guess who's going to be on The Art of Rustling? Ah, oh, dick. Hey, creative. Oh, you got anything for me? No, man. No? No. Man, you look like you were partying all night. I was up late writing, if you had to know. You were working last night? Yes. You were working on wrestling? Absolutely. It's my job. I'm gonna play you this voice, man. I think you're gonna really like it. Ah, yeah! You look like 
Shit! Party! Let's do some shots! That's not me. Hey, it's me, Marty! You play no lots of Martys. Marty from work! There's like three Martys that work here. Marty from the creative team. I'm sorry you lose every match. I do it because I'm insecure. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Here comes the best part. Oh, of no. Wait for it. Spoiler alert. I just shit myself. Woo! <laughs> okay, look. That doesn't need to get out, okay? And? And somebody's about to go on a big winning streak. Thank you. Hey, how about a championship? Calm down. It was just shit. Creative has nothing for you. Yeah, come on in. Hey, Marty, yeah. you're not going to believe this. What happened? My Twitter got hacked. You know what? You wrestlers are all the same. You get a little drunk and you say someone hacked into your Twitter account. A, you know I don't drink. And why would I say my satin jacket is stupid? Because <laughs> uh, it is kind of dumb. I, Colt Cabana, am the worst wrestler of all time. Uh, you're not exactly on a winning streak. Hey, it's Monday, so today I'm going to waste creative's time by crying like a baby. <laughs> I got you! You just got ribbed! Yeah! I am now one of the boys. Are you mad? Uh, that was good, actually. That's nope. not, I'm not mad. That's not a bad <laughs> one. <laughs> cool, then don't be mad when you find out that I just registered to a sex offender in the state of Delaware. Creative has nothing for you. Hey, creative. Uh... Whoa, who are you? I'm Kevin. Did Marty get fired? No, I'm his intern. His intern? What the hell does he need an intern for? He doesn't do anything. Mr. DeRosa made it clear to the higher-ups that he needed somebody to help him with his busy schedule. Oh, sir? Sir? Oh, it's noon. It's time for lunch. Thanks, Kevin. Okay, I'm gonna go get a burrito. Kevin, you're in charge. Colt, he'll take good care of you. Oh. You lose. Alright, rolling. Oh, you lose. <laughs> yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? Yeah, I had some stuff and I was working on it, but I know there's certain things you won't do, so I'm just going to give it to the new guy. Come on, Marty, man. I need something here. Yeah, I'll get you something next week. What was it, man? Was it was it politics, religion? I don't care. I'll do anything. No, no, no. I had you make it out with this diva and you had to grab her tit a little bit, and I just don't want to make you uncomfortable. What's wrong? Make out with a diva? Grabbing her? Why wouldn't I want to do that? You're not gay? No. Then why do you keep sticking that thing in my face? Go. Ready? <laughs> Stop laughing. Can't keep the Stop laughing. <laughs> Dear Colt, if you're reading this, it means I'm gone. I'm sorry your career has turned out the way it did, but it was time for me to leave. The pressures of the job have just gotten to me. P.S. Just kidding. I'm getting a sub. Flip it over. P.P.S. You're losing tonight. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative, you got anything for me? I sure do. Yeah? Yeah, let me throw out a couple names at you. The British Bulldogs, the Birdman Coco Beware, Jake the Snake Roberts. What do all these men have in common? A history of drug problems? And? Animals? Bingo, you're getting an animal. All right, well, let me, let me get a couple days to think about what I need, I oh, guess. Oh, you don't have to think about it. We already got it figured out. You're getting a bear. Bears do have a rich history in the professional wrestling game. I'll embrace it. I'll love him like he's my own. So what's the next step? 
We go to the zoo, pick him out. No, he's here already. Say hi, Rick. Rawr. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? Yeah. You want to beat the crap out of that guy who screams it for each match? The ring announcer? Whoever, the guy who introduces all you guys. Yeah, you want to beat the crap out of him? Yeah, but I'm a wrestler and he's a ring announcer. Yeah, I do it myself, but I'm creative and I'm the idea man, so you're going to do it. You're going to go into the ring, you're going to grab that microphone from his hand, and you're going to beat the shit out of him with it, okay? And that's the way it's going to go. Are you okay, Marty? No, I'm not okay. Look, every night after the show, we all go to the bars, and he talks to all the hot chicks, and I just talk to all their fat friends. Yeah, but I'm not going to do your dirty work for you. I'll give you a 10-minute TV spot to do it. All right, but make me look cool. Deal. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative, you got anything for me? You ready to make more money? Yeah. You ready to become famous? Yeah. You ready to rule the world? Yeah. You're gonna be the world champion! Really? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? What do you think about that? What? Colt, you're gonna lose tonight. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Come on in. Hey, creative, what do you got for me? Uh, well, you're winning tonight, sir. And? And you're gonna be the world champion. And? And you're gonna beat everybody. And? And you're gonna have sex with all the divas. That's what I thought, nerd. Yeah, I rule. Thank you. Shut up! Come on in. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? I actually do. Yeah? Yeah. What if I told you I can get you to Mexico? Yes. What if I told you I can get you to Japan? Please. What if I told you I can get you to India? Yeah. Okay, but are you ready to travel the globe, make tons of money, and become a huge celebrity? Yes, this is what I've been looking for. Finally doing your job. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. All you have to do is look into my camera, say your name, age, and how long we've been best friends. This has nothing to do with wrestling, does it? Nope. You're trying to get me on The Amazing Race. Again. Yep. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. Hey, have you seen that hot new diva out there? No. The redhead? The one in the schoolgirl outfit? Oh, she is so hot. With the pigtails? Love them. And the braces. Talk about commitment. Marty, if I were you, I would. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, stop right there. I already know what you're doing. You're going to use the old reverse psychology. Hey, don't hit on her, don't hit on her. And that's when you swoop in and grab her. You're not going to do the old cult slow play on me this time. That one's for me. Besides, what are you even doing here? It's not pitch day. I was going to grab you for the picture in the lobby. It's spring your daughter to work day. So she's not a demon. And that's? Bob's daughter. Which would make her? 14. Oh boy. Uh, quick favor, how do you unsend a dick pic? Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative, you got anything for me? Hashtag no. Okay. Wait, come back. I wrote you an amazing storyline. Hashtag just kidding. <laughs> so you did or you didn't? Hashtag doesn't understand what's going on right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not very cool. Hashtag things Colt says every day. Marty, please, write me something. Hashtag not feeling very creative. Oh, that's all right, buddy. Hashtag friend. Yeah, I like you, Marty. Hashtag new character. Hashtag the Cultosaurus. Trending topic worldwide. Brutally... Unqualified in the workplace. Hashtag Scotty Goldman? Fuck you. Unfollowed. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. What's up? So, Marty, I took the time and I wrote you a... Are you out of your mind? You're going to come into my world and with your dumb wrestler brain, you think you're going to write something and do my job? Are you out of your mind? Do I need to remind you? I used to write for The View. Let me take that real slow for you. I used to write for The Motherfucking View. I could do anything with you. You know that? I can give your character a terminal illness. He could die in the ring tomorrow. Do you want to do that? Do you want to die in the ring? Because I can do that. A thank you note. I took the time to write you a thank you note. 
You know the Make-A-Wish kid that was at the show last night? Yeah. He died this morning. I wanted to thank you for giving me a match last night. <laughs> with the the kid, the sick kid, and then you with the I. But I and then through, I was joking. There was it's because you came at me and I was like whoa the, the that and the it's uh I'm going to hell right. Yes. Yeah, come on in. Hey, creative. You got anything for me? Uh, I do. I was hanging out with my bros from college this past weekend, and we came up with the best character ever. Marty, stop pitching me the Raper. I get it. He's the ultimate bad guy. It's just in poor taste. Okay, fine. Then we came up with the second greatest character ever. It's not the Raper, right? No. Even better. He's called the Hazer. His finishing maneuver is a sleeper hold. Nice. Yeah. Then when his opponents passed out, he grabs a Sharpie marker and draws a dick on their face. Hey, didn't you say you lived with your parents when you were in college? Oh yeah, they were rough. Biggest heels ever. You fall asleep watching TV before them, you're waking up with a penis face. How's that? Mm, make the balls a little bigger. <laughs>